Hi friends, welcome to my channel Online Trainer, a friendly learning. In this video, I would like to explain about Tecla structures. What is Tecla structures? Tecla structures is a 3D BIM software which states building information modeling in which we can perform modeling, detailing or editing and checking. For every software, there will be a license cost. So, in the same way, the Tecla license cost is 13 lakhs. So, out of this 13 lakhs, as we discussed in the previous slide, so for modeling, it will charge 8 lakhs, and for detailing, it will charge 5 lakhs. So, if you want to work only on the modeling itself, you know, to pay 13 lakhs for the license, you can pay only 8 lakhs and can start doing modeling. Or if you are not working on modeling, you're working only on detailing so instead of paying 13 lakhs you can pay 5 lakhs and you can start doing the work on detailing but if you want to take the both modeling and detailing license how to pay 13 lakhs if you take only the modeling license you can able to do work only on modeling you can't able to do work on detailing so in the same way if you take the detailing license you can able to work only on detailing itself you can't able to work on modeling for every software there will be a versions so they will launch only one version per one year but coming to tecla they will launch two versions in one year let us see how they will launch two versions in one year for example one year has 12 months so if you divide the 12 months into two equal parts it is six months and six months means they will launch one version in first six months that is from january to june and they launch another version in next six months it means july to december so the version which they launch in first six months is called as general version or regular version and the version which they launch in next six months is called as intermediate version let us see this table you will get a clear explanation about the versions so if you see in this table you will get the company name on the left hand side and the versions is on the right hand side in this the first one is xtil so actually is nothing but before creating this software the name itself is xtil so as we discussed in the previous slides they have launched two two versions for one year so in one year they have launched two versions right so here we can see 1.0 and 1.1 2.0 and 2.1 here this 1.0 and 1.1 has launched in one year so 1.0 states that it is a general version or a regular version and 1.1 states that it is an intermediate version in the same way 2.0 and 2.1 in next year they have launched 3.0 and 3.1 and then next they have launched 4.0 4.1 so in the same way they have continued till 16.0 16.1 next the name itself is changed into tecla so here they have followed the same thing they continue with the same numbers so after 16.1 you'll get 17.0 so 17.0 and 17.1 here 17.0 is a general version or a regular version and 17.1 is a intermediate version and the next year they have launched 18.0 and 18.1 next 19.0 and 19.1 so on till 21.0 21.1 and next the name changed into tremble so here they have changes compared to the previous one if you see in the tecla and the xtil the versions are in decimal format but in trimble the versions are in yearly format so here the same thing they have launched two two versions in one year here 2016 and 2016 i so 2016 is an general version or a regular version and 2016 i is an intermediate version so there you can able to see i right so i indicates intermediate version in the same way in the tecla and xtil you can able to see point 0.1 means 1.1 2.1 17.1 so point 0.1 that one indicates intermediate version you people may get a doubt after taking the license whether we have to pay the same charge for every year no not to pay 13 lakhs for every year there will be a maintenance charge it means annual maintenance charge which states that amc annual maintenance charge 
ranges up to 1.3 lakhs to 1.5 lakhs. For example, you have an updated the software, means you are using 2016 and now you have recently updated to 2016i. So you don't know whatever the changes and whatever the updates they have done in the new version. So what we have to do? So after getting updating the software, they used to send you a mail inviting to TUD. So TUD is nothing but Tecla Users Day. The Tecla team will conduct TUD for two days. In the two days, they used to explain what is the differences between the previous version and the new version. Means whatever the updates they have did in the new version. So you can clarify the doubts in those two days. Let us see the flowchart. For example, I am the owner. So I did not have any knowledge on construction. So, but I have the site and the field. Means I have a particular area to construct a commercial or a residential one. So whom I have to approach? I have to approach the client. So here the client is SEOR. It means structural engineer of record. Means I have to approach the structural engineer. So I have to express my ideas. So based on my ideas, the structural engineer will create a design drawing of a building. After creating the design drawings, the client means the structural engineer will send the design drawings to a Tecla related company. This is how we will get a project from the client. In that company, we will have a modeler, detailer and checker. The work of a modeler is to create a 3D model by seeing the design drawings which was given by the client. After creating the model, then the detailer has to create the 2D drawings of the same model to detail it. For example, this is the model created by the modeler. So, if I give this 3D model to the fabricator, did he fabricate it? No. Why? Because he don't know the proper length and what is the bolt distances and what is the edge distance. Right? For that reason, the retailer has to create the 2D drawing of the same model and he have to give the details. Means what is the length of the beam and the edge distances and the bolt distances, everything. That can be understand by the fabricator. After detailing, these drawings will be sent to the checker. So here, the name itself is checker. So the checker has to check whether the modeler or a detailer has given the proper dimensions or the proper materials they have used. After checking, if there is anything wrong in the model, the checker has to send that to the modeler. And if there is anything wrong in the detailing, the checker has to send the detailing drawings to the detailer. To make corrections so after checking is completed then the drawings will be sent to the client so this process is called as IFA which states that issue for approval means we are issuing these drawings for approval to the client while sending the drawings to the client for the first time mark it as revision A now the client will check the drawings whether we have followed the standards that which he has given to us. If the client notice something has been missed according to his standards, so again he will send back those drawings to the company. This process is called as BFA, which states that back from approval. Before sending those drawings to the company, the client will make a note that what we have to make the corrections in it. Then he will send the drawings to the company. According to that note, we have to rectify the corrections and again we have to send those drawings to the client. Again this process is called as IFA means issue for approval and this time we have to raise a revision called B. Why? Because we have sent the revision A for the first time. But now we are sending the same drawings to the client for the second time. So this time it will be revision B. If the same thing repeat for the third time then it will be revision C. And if the same thing repeat for the fourth time, then it will be revision D. Until and unless if the client approves, then only we have to send the drawings to the fabrication. For example, the client approves our drawing in revision B. So the client sent the drawings to the company, this is called BFA, stating that everything is alright, you can proceed with the fabrication. Now the drawings has been approved by the client. So we have to send those drawings to the fabrication. 
So the process of sending the drawings to the fabrication is called IFF. States that issue for fabrication. So while sending the drawings for the fabrication for the first time, mark it as revision zero. You people may get a doubt that why we'll get revisions in the fabrication. While fabricating, the fabricator may not understand the scenarios in the drawings. So at that time, the fabricator will send the drawings to the company. So in this way, we'll get revisions in the fabrication. So if the same drawing was sent to the fabrication for the second time, then it is marked as revision one. And for the next one, it is revision two and next revision three, so on. The work of a fabricator is to mold the member as per the drawings which was given by the detailer. So after preparing the members in the fabrication shop, then the fabricator will send the members to the site for erection. So here erection is nothing but construction after erection there will be commissioning here the commissioning is nothing but inspection or while creating the 3d model or drawings you may get a doubt on the client standards so we can approach the client so the process of approaching client is called as rfi it means request for information means we have to request the client for the information the next one is different types of drawing sheets they are SMD drawing sheets, single part drawing sheets, multi sheet drawing sheets, gathered drawing sheets, and general arrangement drawing sheets. In assembly drawings, in one sheet you will have only one main member, including its single parts. So, single parts is nothing but the connecting members or the secondary members. As you can see in this sheet, you have a one main member and its single parts. So, this is an assembly drawing. And the next one is single part drawings. In one sheet, only one connecting member without including the main members. It is a single part drawing. As you can see in this drawing, you have only one connecting member. So the connecting members is nothing but plates, angles, so on. And the next one is multi sheet drawings. Multi sheet drawings is nothing but in one sheet, we have two or more main members without including the single parts. And the next one is gathered sheet drawings. Gathered sheet drawings means in one sheet we have two or more single parts without including the main members. And the last one is GA drawings, it means general arrangement drawing sheets. It includes AB plans, means anchor bolt plans, and erection drawings. That's all for today's video. I hope that you people have understood this introduction of Tecla. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you.